As expected, the global community has come forth to condemn North Korea in reaction to the missile test launch. The United Nations Security Council will convene later in New York on Wednesday to try to figure out how to deal with Pyongyang and its ongoing provocations. Cho Song Min has the latest. North Korea's ICBM launch on Wednesday has not only spiked tensions in the region but also triggered strong condemnation from world powers. Earlier in the day, U.S. President Trump told reporters this is a situation that the U.S. will handle without elaborating further. Trump also said the latest provocation will not change Washington's approach to North Korea. However, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson implied that there still remains a diplomatic solution to the North Korea issue, as he said diplomatic options remain viable and open, and that the U.S. remains committed to finding a peaceful path to denuclearization. Japan called the latest North Korean provocation a violent act that can never be tolerated. Prior a phone talk with President Moon Jae-in, Japanese Prime Minister Abe said Tokyo will maximize pressure on Pyongyang. Japan will not back down in the face of a provocation, but will maximize pressure on North Korea. We'll continue to protect the lives and livelihoods of the people of Japan under the strong Japan-U.S. alliance. China, through its foreign ministry on Wednesday, expressed grave concern over the latest North Korean missile test, which Pyongyang followed up with a self-congratulatory statement saying its missiles can reach continental U.S. territory. Beijing's foreign ministry spokesman Geng Shang said during a daily briefing that North Korea's action clearly violates international resolutions banning ballistic missile launches. China expresses grave concern and opposition to North Korea's launch activity. China strongly urges the North Korean side to abide by the UN Security Council's relevant resolutions and cease taking actions that increase tensions on the Korean Peninsula. He also followed up with a message that China hopes all concerned parties will act thoughtfully to preserve peace and stability in the Northeast Asian region. Russia's take on the missile launch wasn't so different. The Kremlin said on Wednesday that the latest missile test launched by North Korea will provoke further tensions in the region and hinder current efforts to find a peaceful solution to the crisis. Spokesperson Dmitry Peskov told reporters that all relevant sides to this issue need to remain calm, which is very necessary to prevent the worst-case scenario on the Korean Peninsula. Following Seoul, Washington and Tokyo's request, the UN Security Council is soon to hold an emergency meeting at the UN headquarters in New York on Wednesday afternoon local time to address Pyongyang's ongoing provocations. Cho Song-min, Arirang News.